This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. Well, Michelle Bachman went on um, Good Morning America with George Stephanopoulos, and she was asked about that. And her answer is very instructive. You can tell what's happening within the Republican Party because of this answer. Let's watch it, and then I'll decipher for you. Clip number four. He continues to raise these questions about the president's birth status. And last night you were on Fox News suggesting the president should come forward with his birth certificate as well. You're well, and what I've said about that is I was asked the question about that, and, the, and Republicans are constantly asked to vouch for the authenticity of the birth certificate. The only one who can is the clerk of court in the county where someone is born, and that's where people should go. Don't ask Republicans. Go ask the clerk No, no, of well, court. but actually one of your supporters in the state of Iowa has put forward a bill that would require presidential candidates to, to uh, file their birth certificate with their candidacy. Do you support that? Well, Governor Jan Brewer just uh, vetoed that bill in Arizona because she felt that that was a bridge too far, that it wouldn't be up to the authenticators in each state to do that, that that would be a federal issue. There is a federal piece of legislation that hasn't gone anywhere that would also require that, uh, that candidates put forward their birth certificate. I have no problem giving my birth certificate. It wouldn't bother me at all. I've got one. It's authenticated. Take it. Well, but so does the president. According to the bill, a candidate for president or vice president shall attach to and file with the app affidavit, a, can a copy of the candidate's birth certificate certified by the appropriate official in the candidate's state of birth. And That's right. Well, I have the president's certificate right here. It's certified. It's got a certification number. It's got the registrar of the state signed. It's got a seal on it. And it says this copy serves as prima facie evidence of the fact of birth in any court proceeding. Well, then that should settle it. That, so it's over. That, that's what should settle it. I take the president at his word. And I think for any, I have, again, I would have no problem. Then apparently the president wouldn't either. Introduce that. We're done. Move so this on. is over. Well, this story. has been introduced. So this case is, this, this story is over. Well, as long as someone introduces it, I guess it's over. It's right there. Yeah, there you go. Okay, because well, it, that is not the main issue facing the United States right now. The main issue facing the United States is dealing with our debt and our deficit. I am telling you right now, somebody sent a memo to all the Republicans saying, it is time to backpedal, 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 get out of this Bertha thing. It makes us look ridiculous. It, it makes them look like they're, you know, remember the old Vince Foster conspiracy theories? Oh, he was killed by the Clintons. That kind of nonsense, that wackiness, which was considered so fringe and kooky. Well, that kind of fringe and kooky took over the party. And now you can see it because it's everywhere. Karl Rove saying, oh, it's stupid and it's not the right way to go. It makes you a joke. Stephen Hayes from the Weekly Standard, which is the neocon newspaper or magazine, coming out on Fox News saying birtherism is a joke and Trump is a joke for saying it. Uh, Eric Cantor said the same thing. Tim Pawlenty. They're all backpedaling. And Michelle Bachman, since she's the queen of crazy, she got caught right in between there. Did you notice all the words she used? Like, well, I guess that settles it. I'll take the president at his word. That's code word for, uh, look, if, I guess if that's what the president is saying. I guess if you believe that. So she's not fully willing to say, oh, absolutely, that's the birth certificate. End of this, right? But at the same time, she's not pressing it like she used to. There was a lot of backpedals in there. She was quoting Jan Brewer saying, oh, it's a bridge too far. Yeah, look at that. I guess it should settle it. I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about the deficit, etc. Oh, there's a backpedal going on. The, you know how the Republicans work. They send out those talking points and everybody gets in line. And what's happening right now is everybody's getting in line saying, with the birther? Me, birther? No. I'm a president? Of course he's born here. What are you talking about? No. This is crazy Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. That's nothing like seeing Republicans backpedal. Always fun. Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house. No late charges, free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com slash TYT. Free trial membership. You get Netflix all over.